This video is part of the My Creation playlist. VR. It's an interesting concept, and so far, on paper, it's a pretty good idea. Should just to buy one. Too expensive, I'm making my own. For the controller, I could have used the controller from my old console video, but I made a new one that's easier to hold in your hand, and it's pretty it's pretty better than the other one because I had to make the other one so that you could connect it to a controller. So that's that sorted out. Now we need to make the headset. So we have some marks on the box that we are going to use to create the headset. Although it's going to look a bit more amateurish, it's going to work nearly identical as a normal VR set if I do the programming right. So, 3, 2, 1. Now with the headset done, we need to make sure that the controller actually works. So first of all, I'm going to program a hand that moves. So, programming time lapse. Moment of truth, won't this work? Why is it so laggy? It's probably because this, but I'm not sure. Am I gonna have to do all this again? Oh no, it's okay, I found what was wrong. Now, after being full of YouTube 360s, you're gonna want to play some games. So how are we going to create those? Well, first thing, we could use my light table project from an earlier video, the console video. Watch that if you haven't already, it's pretty good. And as you can see, it works as a light table. It also has sound effects, but those will probably get copyright claimed. So, yeah. And it works with the motion sensors of the micro bit. Now, how can I use this? Because so far, it's just a simple light table. Well... The micro bit's got a few more. The micro bit's got a few more motion sensors that will allow me to, will allow it to detect if it thinks that you are running. So we could do so that you have a game where you have to because if you attach the micro bit to your headset, we could technically make it so that it t you can turn around and make a more immersive experience. We also got the ping pong game. For also from the console video that works with the micro bit sensors and afterwards I did try to create some projects where you have to look around because this is pretty interesting but I nearly ran off ideas then I remembered when I created a console video I checked some of the most popular games and created them convertible to play with my idea so I found a project of 2020 was very big so let's just see that i'm totally not milking this content <clears throat> oh, i wouldn't say anything yeah and it was pretty big it had 300 309 000 views which is a lot for scratch and for normal standards i remember doing this the first time you saw it on trending it was pretty cool yeah it seems simple but it's pretty good for Scratch, considering this was made in a 2D engine that was pro that was usually made just to make people say hello with a cat. I'm not even joking, that's actually all they were doing in primary school to teach us. And as you can see, because it's 3D, I have some ideas on how I could not milk this. I mean, create it more, co co my, more VR friendly. So we could do it so that once... You look around, that's when you actually move. You could use some sensors. And you could also use the buttons to jump. Because if you think about it, that's the only really, that's the only actual button that we're pressing other than arrows. And by arrows, you could just do running. And because if we change perspective, it doesn't matter. So here's a more in-depth version of how this works. So here we have some motion sensors which detect movement, such as jumping, by having an accelerometer that sometimes detects if it, the micro bit is shaken. And because when we move our hand we also tilt it, using some other stuff we also get tilt sensors. So if you pair those two together, we can make it so that the computer knows 
where, which way we're moving our hand. We also have using the shake. That's when probably what happens when you jump as your hand will move. So that way we can make the computer detect if we're jumping, if we're mo- if we're moving, or if we're moving our hand. And that's pretty cool if you think about it, because it sends all that data using a Bluetooth antenna to your computer or phone. And then the output is displayed on the phone screen. And the way a headset works is you put your phone, which has the microphone connected and everything to it. <coughs> you open which game you want to do. And then it will, it will lock it in place. You put that on your head and it will work just like a VR sensor. So that's it. This is how it works. It's a bit simpler version, but still more in-depth than what originally had planned. Now, when I think VR, the first sport that comes to mind is tennis. It's not necessarily my favourite, but considering you hold the tennis racket like you're going to hold the controller, it's pretty. It's not going to be that complicated to create compared to a different sport like football or basketball. So, how could we do that? Well, we could have used a ping pong game for my console video, but... That would have been kind of lazy. It's not really the best. It's 2D and it's ping pong. So I'm I've created a way better one that one ups everything that I've done so far in this project. So drum roll please. Okay, this is my new project. It's called VR Tennis, and it's actually using the pen module in Scratch, 3D Tennis. Now, the way we play this is using a micro bit. Whenever we, whenever we move it, so indicating that how we would hit a ball with a tennis racket, the micro bit senses that motion and feeds it to the computer. Whenever I move the hand in a certain direction, the computer also gets that information from the micro bit and that makes the racket move in different directions so that's pretty basically how i've done it and we also and using the pen module and stamp a bunch of lines and deleting it all constant and deleting it all in split seconds so that it gives you the 3d sense and i've lost we can now we have now made it so that it seems like, it's an immersive VR experience. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. I was going to add some more games and give a more in-depth version on how this all works. But this video is going to reach too long. So I'm probably going to create a part two. So that, so thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe and like the video, bye.